Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement. In this video tutorial, we will be exploring some very exciting and awesome feature or you can say add-in available in Microsoft Excel 365 version and that is how to use open AI formula or generative AI through Excel labs. So let's get start and explore. So I will be exploring the demonstrating some three examples uh, by giving some prompt to this uh, function of OpenAI formula based in Excel and you can see the power of it and then I will tell you that how to add in your Microsoft Excel 365 uh, desktop uh, application as well and on the back end how to generate a API key for that as well. So let's get start uh, the first scenario as you can see here we have a one mobile model that is Oppo F21 Pro 5G and we need the description of this mobile phone and the specifications as well. So how to get so we will write equals to labs dot generative AI this is the function it has different function arguments available let me make it a bit zoom so you can see prompt temperature max tokens and model so we will be talking about first or third prompt and in the inverted commas we will say we will write a small prompt based on our natural English language so we will say that return return a short description for this product and uh, let's say inverted commas close and then M percent and select the cell which has uh, the model name and number close the bracket press enter key now it states busy so it will take few seconds to get the data and see within few seconds it gets the data for the Oppo F21 Pro 5G is a powerful smartphone that offers high speed 5G connectivity so it's a short description and if you want to see the specifications so we can again use labs.generativeai function let's give a prompt to it so within the inverted commas we will say uh, get the specifications for D and we will put an M percent sign and then the mobile model number cell I mean you can imagine there is a list of many mobile phones and you want the specifications and description of it so for that now it's saying the Oppo F21 Pro 5G has not been released yet so the specification is not available at this time and even more if you change the model name so for instance if I write Samsung Samsung uh, Galaxy Z Flip 5 and when I press the enter key it will definitely refresh and gives us the short description and the specification of Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 so Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5 has a 6.7 inch dynamic emerald display a uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 865 plus processor 8 GB of RAM 256 GB of storage uh, camera information okay so that's very awesome thing now in in the next scenario what we want let's suppose we want a list of states so let's say uh, let's write labs.generative.ai and here we say a prompt that uh, returns return a comma separated list of six states of Pakistan now that could be a debatable but uh, let's see what it returns okay and let's close the bracket enter so it shows you busy it will fetch the information and see we have uh, the list Punjab, Sindh, Khyber, Pakhtun, Kua, Balochistan, Gilgit, Baltistan, Azad, Jammu and Kashmir. Okay, uh, we don't want as a as one liner answer. We want to uh, split these into raw wise these names. So we can add the dynamic array formulas as well. So let's add text split. Let's go to the end let's add a column delimiter that is comma 
bracket close and we need to also transpose so let's add another function that is transpose and press the enter key so in the scenario number three we want to get uh, these city wise airport names okay so let's create a prompt for this uh, international airport names okay so equals to labs dot generative ai bracket open let's give a prompt to it so what we want return return the international airport names for this city m percent sign in select the city column press enter key and let's wait for a few seconds to fetch all right so we have uh, all the city wise international airport names here like these are the three simple examples which i give you in this video tutorial now the question is how you can get the excel lab so if you see my excel version uh, i'm using excel 365 beta version and i have purchased it directly from the microsoft so when i click on my name you can see here raheem.zulfikarali at live.com already being there so when i click on it you can see it can work with advanced formula environment labs generative ai this the this is the custom function python editor you need to generate the secret api key as well so how to do it uh, when you click on open here so it will get you to the next page and you need to click on configure key api where you need to add that key api where you need to add the api if, if you don't have you can click on get your api key here that will prompt you to the website url so here i have created and remember that there is a limited usage you can do with this particular function if you want to use it aggressively then you have to pay so if i click on usage so as you can see here i have got five dollars of limit and i have used 0 0.01 up till now uh, on 21st of december right so once i will be consuming my five dollars uh, th this is credit granted to me and i can increase the limit and i can pay and purchase uh, and i can use accordingly okay. so when you click on add-ins it will prompt a window click on more add-ins it will open a dialog window and you can search for excel labs Excel Labs and you can click on add. So I hope you like this video. Thank you.